Right, uh, finished stage, the first stage, day one. Yesterday we had the prologue, which was kind of like a qualifying stage, very short run. Uh, and today was, I think it was 260 something K. And uh, it was good. It was in two parts um, with like a neutralization bit between, which is like a road section between the two stages, the two parts of the stage. And first, first one was actually quite, tight it was um, a lot of speed zones um, quite intense and the second part opened up I preferred that actually it was a little faster um, uh, <laughs> it was uh, it was good I dropped down from where I started a guy I only saw one bike one one person um, overtook me and um, was a little bit out of my comfort zone probably trying to stay with him um, so I just let him go and, and then didn't see anybody else which was perfect really because I was I was a little worried um, dust may be an issue but it was it worked great um, just trying to find my own pace a bit because uh, it's so easy to to kind of especially in the faster sections you just glance down at the road book and, and things change so quick you know you're only getting real uh, notifications of, of junctions or turnings you need to make or warnings um, it's not every turn or there was a lot of blind crests today on very very loose gravel it was like marble so I did I did enter a cornfield at one point because um, it uh, I glanced down looked up and the corner just really tightened up on itself and um, I had to use a little bit of extra extra uh, land I suppose but uh, other than that was no no issues um, the I think we're like 27th or something is showing at the moment but I'm pretty sure that's not sh highlighting any of the speeding um, any speed penalties or anything yet so we'll find out later but it was quite tricky today uh, keep it on with um, keeping in those because uh, you can't see them you only know from your road book and um, your GPS so um, a little bit more to learn in that area but it w did seem tough to keep into those but everything else uh, worked good bike was was great and um, yeah it was kind of an early finish really I was back before 12 and um, had some lunch and that was it really I've had a little siesta the boys are sorting the bike out now behind me um, and then shortly I'm off to do a, a fitness kind of assessment which is part of this road to Dakar program they run here at the Andalusia rally and some other rallies that has uh, analyzes where you're at basically and to kind of check I suppose that you're up to the job um, it was supposed to be tomorrow but I've managed to move it to today with today being shorter uh, I feel it'll be a little bit easier on my body dealing with uh, this is Paul it's supposed to be the team manager he's actually what do you even do no, <laughs> wander around drives the hire car, drive the hire car. And, and, and probably causes more more uh, more of an inconvenience than a convenience um, yeah so I'm gonna do this fitness test in a minute and uh, at three three o'clock 45 minutes which is two hours and I am not a fitness fan so I'm not really looking forward to that but uh, it's part of the protocol and uh, that is it really tomorrow's a long tomorrow's stage is double what today was so um, we'll see how that goes and that is it really I'm gonna do a, obviously try and do this daily now on each stage day and at some point I'll go into a little bit of my kit we've got um, a crucial item there the Rabaconda from enduro tires which when you're changing off-road tires and in mooses especially um, is crucial so that's it for now um, not a bad view of mine as far as paddocks go it's quite interesting sharing the paddock with cars and the buggies because obviously you've been bike racer you don't really see uh, a whole lot of all that side of stuff apart from maybe Goodwood occasionally but uh, yes it's interesting to see everything the rally world and um yeah just keep learning i guess but that's it for now i will be back soon